I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have something new from HubSan here to show you guys, to demo fly for you. I'm so excited about this one because it works with the smartphone. It has GPS on there and it has Wi-Fi video stream back to the phone. It's really cool because we can record 720p video and we have all kinds of different cool modes on here. Waypoints, we have re automatic return to home, three different modes of fail safe, and it has micro SD card support right here on the bottom, the power button right next to that. But it's a really neat quad from HubSan. I flew it yesterday for the first time, kind of testing it out before we did this video. So I can get kind of a, an opinion before I started this one today. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. It is the H507A, by the way. We're just going to hold that power button on the bottom there until you hear sort of a slight beep and it's on and it shouldn't take too long to load up the Wi-Fi so I'm gonna go inside my phone here to the settings and go to the Wi-Fi settings we'll see if we can find that network how fast it comes up it's already up wow that was really quick 507 a and the password is one two three four five six seven eight join it says incorrect password it did this to me yesterday one two three four five six seven eight join it took it that time so now if i go over to the hubsan app and the app you want to download for this quad is called x dash hubsan i'm going to go ahead and go into horizontal mode there x hubsan we're going to choose the quad and that is the 507a they have all their different quads in the same app which is kind of neat hubsan is a really high quality quad uh, it seems to be a little step up from like a, a toy drone. So this is approaching like hobby grade stuff, uh, all the hub sand quads. I always tell people, they ask me what to buy for their first quad. And I always tell them, buy anything from hub sand and you will enjoy it. So we'll click on camera. And now it wants me to rotate the quad and calibrate the compass. So we're just going to rotate it here until it tells me to rotate it vertically. So now it wants to bind the aircraft to the current device. GPS accuracy test, we're gonna skip that for right now. Uh, if you wanna go into your modes on this quad, there's a little quadcopter up to the top left. You can click on that quadcopter and it shows you waypoint mode, following mode, orbit mode, and VR mode. VR mode would be if you wanna split the screen and go into two screens so you can slip this down inside of goggles. Now, one thing about the apps, by the way, the apps from HubSan is, are absolutely awesome. They're almost up on par with like DJI apps. So if you're looking for a nice, really nice app, HubSan's quads that have GPS on them have awesome app. It shows me my maps here. I can click on maps and I see the playground right here. I can do my waypoints right here. I'll try to do a little mini waypoint session if we have enough battery. Click back on the camera view and it'll take me there. Uh, but let's just go ahead and do some free flying. Oh, I took a picture. So I'm going to switch over to the video mode and I'm going to press record. Kind of gives us a little beep there. But we should have a recorded home point. Give your X4 star uh, about a minute or so to load up the GPS and lock the home point. Because if you don't lock the home point and calibrate the compass, it doesn't know which way to come back. So we'll go ahead and if you press on your thumb, on the right thumb right there, a little joystick pops up. No matter where I am on the screen, it actually will pop up. So throttles on the left and on the right will be your roll and pitch axis. So left, right, forward, back. We can go ahead and do an auto takeoff down at the bottom. We press on that. It says, are you sure to take off? Say OK. And now it's going to automatically come up by itself. So you do have GPS hold on this quad. The wind's blowing a little bit right now, but just going to go a little higher. And I really trust the hub stand quads a lot to lock and hold their position. Right now I'm hands off and look at how locked in it is. It's drifting a little bit. It's drifting in a circular motion. So if you happen to see that get larger and larger and larger, what you want to do is land your quad and recalibrate the compass because the compass is having a hard time making a GPS lock. If you have a really tight lock, then you have a good GPS connection to your quad. 
So now I'm just going to go ahead and go out and uh, we're going to show you some forward flight here. It's very, very slow and very stable. So if you're learning how to fly a quadcopter with GPS assistance, it's really easy. I've got some F-16s over here circling me. It seems like they're interested in the hub sand. So if you hear any jet noise, that's what it is. We've got F-16s flying around. This is definitely not an F-16 right here. They're probably something better than an F-16. That's kind of an old jet. Kind of showing my age there. So look at that, you guys. I'm taking a selfie. Hi, guys. So now let's go ahead and do follow mode. We'll go ahead and go into follow mode. So now it should be following me. Okay, now we're in orbit mode. So it's actually doing its job. It's actually going around me while holding its altitude. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit slower than something like the uh, unique breeze. The unique breeze is a little quicker for orbit mode, but it should actually keep its distance from my phone while holding the camera right on me. So it's deviating a little bit. It's not quite on me right there, but this is a good test. It says battery level about 40%. I have some more footage from yesterday, so it's not perfect on the orbit, but it was kind of close in. There, it's coming back around. Okay, so we'll go out of that mode. And really quickly, I'll test out. I'm just gonna take it out of that. Now we're in follow mode. I'm going to come up off the ground a little bit. Okay, it seems to be following pretty well. Okay, so you press F and that will exit that mode. Now we're going to go ahead and do a return to home real quick. We'll see how close it lands on that pad. So I'm going to hit that bottom H button and we'll watch it fly back to the landing pad. We'll see how close it gets. And this also does waypoints that allow you to click on the map and add your own waypoints. Really cool. So the battery doesn't last a super long time. Wow. That is extremely close. So we'll see if it cuts the motors. Okay, I didn't do anything on the, iP the I iPhone here and it actually cut the props off by itself. So, I mean, literally it was right next to the landing pad. That's the best landing I've seen all week for any GPS drone on the channel. That's really good. So pretty precise for uh, a more cost-effective style quad. This is actually pretty cool. And the battery goes in the back right here. I think these batteries could probably be a little bit bigger. If, if let's, let's talk about some things that, uh, uh, some opinion of mine as far as this quad real quick. Uh, I, I think the battery could definitely be a little larger. It'd give us a little longer flight time on this this quad. The LEDs are pretty cool. We have red and blue in the front and those are kind of hard to see right right now this morning in this sunlight. You do get an extra set of props in the box and the camera is okay. It's going to be pretty decent. It's a larger lens than something like a pinhole camera on some of those cheaper quads. Hub sand cameras tend to be a little better quality. We've got a little micro uh, mini USB port on the side right there I guess for hooking up possibly doing firmware updates but the battery itself let's go ahead and take that out and I'll show you that battery it just slides right out the back like this and it says it's a 7.6 volt which would be a 2s battery 550 milliamps so not the biggest hub sand battery in the world uh, most of them seem to have a little larger battery there's another one that has GPS that I flew earlier on the channel and I'm pretty sure that battery is bigger than this one. So my only, I guess, feedback to HubSan or people watching is I feel like this battery could be a little larger because uh, I don't feel like I got a long enough flight time out of this quad and I did charge this up fully before I came out to the field today. So uh, constructive criticism, but you guys know me. I love the HubSan stuff. I think it's great especially since they're incorporating GPS and Wi-Fi into these little toy grade style drones. But like I said, I think, I think hub sand stuff is a little step above toy grade. I think it's more approaching like hobby grade. Definitely not professional grade, but uh, 
it's not then again it's not a thousand dollars but you're going to get a lot of that same type of experience with these quads as you would something like a dji phantom so a uh, really nice app to go along with a lot of features on this quad kind of make this definitely one of my favorites so i would check that one out for sure you guys you can check that out in the link below down there uh, i just want to say thanks to uh, guys over at gearbest.com for providing this sample for me to fly for you guys hope you guys are having a good week i'm justin davis i'll see you on the next one